Now coming to section 134. 134 is similar to section 215. 134 is similar to section 217. 215, 16 and 17 of the old act is known as section 134. So what section 134 has to say? The financial statement has to be signed. Board report has to be prepared. Has to be prepared. And board report will have to include certain items. So what we are talking about in section 134? That the financial statement has to be signed. Board report has to be prepared. Board report has to include certain items. And board report has to be signed. So these are the things that we are going to talk about in section 134. So section 134 says that the financial statement will be approved by the board of directors. And after approval it will be signed. The financial statement will be authenticated. By whom? So financial statement will be approved by the board of directors. That this is a financial statement that we have prepared. This will be approved by the board of directors. And after approval, it will be signed on behalf of the board. It will be authenticated, it will be signed. It will be signed by whom? It will be signed by the chair, chairperson. In case the chairperson is not there, then by two directors, and one of them shall be the managing director. So it will be signed by Chairman, if chairman has been authorized, if chairman has not been authorized, then by two directors, one of them should be the managing director. Then it will be signed by the chief executive officer who is the director. It will be signed by the chief financial officer and it will be signed by the company secretary as well. So therefore the financial statement will be approved by the board. After approval it will be signed by the managing director. By if um, by the chairman, I'm sorry, by the chairman, in case we don't have the chairman, then by the two directors and one of them shall be the managing director. It will be signed by the chief executive officer, who is the director of the company. It will be signed by the chief financial officer and it will be signed by the company secretary. So the financial statement, etc., etc., will be signed by these people. After approval, after being approved by the board of directors, and they will be signed on behalf of the board of directors. This is 134. Then further the law says that this financial statement should be accompanied by the auditor's report. Because actually unless these financial statements are accompanied by the auditor's report, they cannot be circulated. They cannot be issued. They cannot be published. So therefore these financial statements should be accompanied by the auditor's report. And these financial statements shall be accompanied by the board of directors report. And the Board of Directors report will include these things. So one, financial statement approved. Number two, financial statement shall be signed. Number third, financial statement shall be attested with the auditor's report. And number two, number four, the financial statement shall be attested by the Board of Directors report. Now Board of Directors report will include these items. In section 217 of the old act, we used to provide about the Board of Directors report. But today the Board of Directors report inclusion has been vital. Many things have been included in this. So Board of Directors report. Board of Directors report will include the following items. Now what about, what about the Board of Directors report will include? Board of Directors report will include the following items. Number one. The Board of Directors report will include about the extract of the annual return under section 94. So we prepare the annual return and some extract of the annual return will be incorporated in the board report, number one. How many meetings we had in the preceding year? The report will include those number of meetings. Board report will include the director's responsibility statement, DRS, popularly known as director's responsibility statement and popularly known as DRS. Board report will also include some observations of the independent director made under section 149 of this new act. 
द बोर्ड रिपोर्ट विल ऑल्सो इंक्लूड कि वॉट यूर पॉलिसी इज रिगार्डिंग द रिक्रूटमेंट ऑफ द डायरेक्टर्स द क्वालिफिकेशन ऑफ द डायरेक्टर्स पॉजिटिव एटीट्यूड ऑफ द डायरेक्टर्स रेमोनरेशन ऑफ द डायरेक्टर सो दे आर फॉर यूर यूर बोर्ड रिपोर्ट विल इंक्लूड सम रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ सेक्शन वन सेवेंटी एट दैट वॉट आर द क्वालिफिक वट ऑट टू बी द क्वालिफिकेशन ऑफ द डायरेक्टर वट ऑट टू बी द पॉजिटिव एट्रीब्यूट ऑफ द डायरेक्टर वट सेट बी द रेमोनरेशन एंड द कंडीशन ऑफ द अपॉइंटमेंट all these things which are provided in section 178 will become a part of the board report so board report will include board report will include about the loans and the uh, you know investment made under section 187 board report will include about the you know connected transaction with the related party if you are related party so what transaction they have made board report will include related party means connected with the director manager maybe the director maybe the relative of the director maybe the firm in which the director is interested maybe the private company maybe the public company maybe the body corporate where the director manager is accustomed to act as per their desire so these are all the people of the related party so therefore if the company has made term, some transaction with the related party can you include those transactions in their board report then further What is the state of affairs of the company? Give a little description of the state of affairs of the company. What is the state of affairs of the company? Then, what are the material changes or commitments have taken place? Material changes or commitments which have taken place between the end of the financial year and the date of the report, you kindly in incorporate. How much reserve should be transferred? Which I mean, which the board thinks should be transferred to reserve? Indicate. How much dividend you recommend? should be included in the board report what are they how how do you conserve the energy foreign exchange earnings so therefore give the details of the foreign exchange earnings outgoing conservation of the energy technology absorption so what is step we have taken to conserve the energy what is step we have taken for the technology so that we can absorb the technology what is step we have taken for the conservation of foreign exchange what is step have taken for the for the for outgoing of the foreign exchange so they for all the things should be included in the report and then such other matters as you think should be incorporated then if you have any policy about the risk management policy or say risk management policy can you include in the report that this is our risk management policy include then further the loss is that you will have to include the director's responsibility statement in the report director's responsibility statement will talk about what you have to include the director's responsibility statement and director's responsibility statement will include four number one because the report will include the director's responsibility statement director's responsibility statement will include number one that while we prepare the financial statement we have complied with all the accounting standards and if not complied then what material departure has been made so therefore dr drs director responsibility statement the report will include the director responsibility statement and the director responsibility statement will include number 1 that we have complied all the accounting when we prepared the statement financial statement we have complied all the accounting standards and if not complied then the material departure made and number 2 we have selected accounting policies and consistently we are following them it's not that we select one and the change another year no we have selected a consistent accounting policy and we have been following them consistently we have been following them we have made judgments and estimates which are fair so as to give that true and fair view we have taken all the care so as to preserve the assets and so as to prevent and detect the fraud we have prepared the accounts we have prepared the account on going concern basis on the basis of that we have going concern basis we have taken all the care that all the legal provisions are properly complied with so therefore in the director's responsibility statement these are the thing that we have to incorporate you will have to say okay, that we have taken care so that the necessary compliance of all the legal provision is done 
So this is a responsibility. Then further, the financial statement will not be circulated, published and issued unless they are accompanied by the auditor's report and they are accompanied by the director's report. They will not be issued. Then if there is a contravention of the section 134, how much is the penalty? If there is a contravention of section 134, then how much is the penalty? The penalty is very heavy. Very heavy. If we do not comply with this standard, then the company is liable for a penalty which is not less than 50,000, which can go up to 25 lakhs. If the officer in default is guilty, then the, then the penalty is up to one year imprisonment, which will not be less than 50,000, but which can go up to 5 lakhs. And who are the people who can be liable for the contravention? Maybe the managing director. Then further. And then there is a director responsibility statement. Then board report will be signed. Because there we have seen the financial statement will be signed. Here the board report will be signed. Board report will be signed by the chairman of the... Or if he is not authorized, then by the two directors and one of them shall be the managing director. And if there is only one director, he will sign. So board report will be signed by the chairperson if he has been authorized. So this is a contravention.